Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is about the poem The Laburnum Taw by Ted Hughes. Laburnum tree is a short tree with hanging branches, yellow flowers and poisonous seeds. So let's start reading the poem. The Laburnum top is silent, quite still. Ab jo ped hai bilkul chup chup shant hai. No movement. In the afternoon, yellow September sunlight. To pair ka time hai, yellow September ka matlab, melancholy, very sad. Both udasa, to pair ka time hai, aur sunlight hai. Tez dhup hai. A few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. कुछ पत्ते जो हैं वो पीले हो गए हैं और सारे जो seeds हैं वो गिर गए हैं. All its seeds fallen. Now the poetic device used in the three lines is alliteration. Alliteration देखें आप second line में September and sunlight. Repetition of S. So this is alliteration. Now the next stanza. Till the gold finch comes with a twitching chirrup. Gold finch is a small singing bird with yellow feathers on its wing. Ab gold finch, bird jo hai wo, as soon as it comes, kaise aati hai ye pakshi? With a twitching chirrup. Twitching chirrup is a sound, sound word. A suddenness, a startlement at a branch end. Badi tezi ke saath. Startlement, surprisingly. Badi tezi ke saath, badi surprise karte hoye ye pakshi aata hai. Abhi twitching chair up. Aapni jo pakshiyon ki awaz hoti hai and comes and sits at a branch end. Ek branch end par aakar ye pakshi gold fin bat jai. Then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt. Now here the gold finch is compared to a lizard. If you have seen lizard, you must have observed that lizard is very sleek. Sleek means glossy, shiny, very alert and very abrupt, very quick in movement. So here goldfinch is compared to a lizard with its movements. She enters the thickness and a machine starts up. As soon as she enters the thickness, Thickness refers to the closely set branches and leaves. So, when it enters it, and a machine starts up. Machine starts up. A machine is here? The tree, her family, uh, which is in the nest. So, the whole machine starts up. It starts vibrating of chitterings and tremor of wings and trillings. These are all the sound words hain trimmer of wing ke pankh phad phadane shuru ho jate hain drillings jo unki awaaze nikalte hain wo chitterings these are all sound words made by the birds so as soon as she enters the thickness the whole uh, the tree comes alive with the movement of the birds. the whole tree trembles and thrills the whole tree the whole tree becomes vibrant. It comes alive with life. How? When as soon as the gold flinch comes. The whole tree trembles and thrills. Tremble and thrill. These are movement words. It is the engine of her family. Engine of her family. It refers to the gold flinch. So she she serves or she works as the engine of her family. She stokes it full. Stokes it full. The meaning of stoke is to add fuel to the machine. Then flirts out to a branch end. Flirts or matlab flutter. After she feeds her family, she flutters, flirts. Udke dusi branch end par bat jati. Showing her barred face identity mask. Her barred face which was earlier obscured. Which was not earlier seen. Uh, as soon as she comes and sits at the branch end. Her face was visible, uh, visible which shows her identity mask. Like the stripes she has on it. So it shows her identity mask. 
poetic devices used in this in this stanza third line sleek as a lizard here this is simply is used when two things are compared it is simply sleek as a lizard fourth line she enters the thickness and a machine starts up a machine starts up metaphor is used and the sixth line the whole tree trembles and thrills this is personification now the last then with a re delicate whistle chirr of whisperings with a re a re ka matlab strange weird इस तरीके की आवाज करती हुई विसल चेयरअप विस्परिंग्स फुसफुस आने वाली वेरी डेलीकेट अजीब सी आवाज के साथ शी लॉन्च इज अवे टूवर्ड्स द इन्फिनेट लॉन्च इज अवे मतलब रशिज फ्लाइज गोज टूवर्ड्स द इन्फिनेट इन्फिनेट का मतलब विच इज लिमिटलेस बाउंडलेस इट रेफर्स टू द स्काई शी गोज इन टू द स्काई and the laburnum subsides to empty as soon as she leaves the tree the the laburnum comes to it settles or it returns to its earlier quietness it returns to its earlier stillness it becomes very empty and diminished and settles to its earlier quietness so this is all about this poem please like and subscribe my channel